it's just me, Heather's out showing property to clients. So um, we are here to talk to you today about how do I save for my first home? Especially a down payment, you're trying to save 3% or 5% of the purchase price. It's a lot of money um, and it's hard to come up with that, especially the first time around, because when you have something to sell, obviously the money's coming out of the house that you're selling. So that makes it a lot easier. Um, so first off, I want to talk to you about two programs that are specific to Oregon. Um, they are the Oregon Bond and also the, um, the Portland Housing Center. And there are a few other programs that have um, literally a zero down. So that might mean you have to come in with closing costs. So that might be a couple thousand dollars, but that's doable. Um, those are both programs that um, are super complicated. So we have lenders that specifically work with those programs. Um, and so if that's something you're interested in, just let me know and I'm happy to help. Um, and then, you know, as far as saving goes, I know this seems weird, but in general, what it is, is all the little things add up. So that coffee that you get at Starbucks once a week, that's $3. And, you know, when I'm starving and I didn't pack a lunch and I swing by the Arby's and get a sandwich or any of those small things because I didn't plan, I think that for me was the real big um, eye opener. So I'd say the first most important thing you can do, which is often filled with a lot of shame, is just look at your finances. Um, a lot of people, it's like going to the doctor. I don't want to know, so I don't look at it. But if you don't look at it, you have no idea where you're spending your money. Um, for, for instance, for me, I was super embarrassed about really looking at my finances. And so I actually used Mint to download all of my um, credit cards and my debit cards and everything else. And I looked at it all and I ended up finding this expense that the credit card had actually placed on my card. It was um, a $8 a month charge, which no big deal, right? But it had been going on for four years without me knowing about it. And for me, that was the turning point where I was like, I have to take better responsibility for my finances. And thereby, you know, maybe I want to spend all my money on Starbucks. Maybe I don't want to buy a house, but at least then I know what I'm spending my money on. Um, but I ended up getting like thousands of dollars back from the credit card company because I took them to task and said, Hey, you know, I never authorized this charge and I never wanted any of this. So I'm just encouraging you. We have a bunch more tips on our blog post as to how you can save money. But big things are there are programs out there that you can actually put together that you won't have to actually save anything for your down payment, one. And then two, start with something small. I know it seems like a huge task, but just start small. Just look at what you've got going on and really take stock and see, okay, what can I trade off and what can't I? Um, and then of course, we'll look at our blog post for a bunch of other tips um, at um, www.parisgrouprealty.com. Um, and feel free to reach out with any questions. Um, we're gonna keep these rolling through the next year and I'm excited to keep talking to you guys about all kinds of crazy stuff related to real estate. Again, if you have any questions, call me at 503-998-4878 um, or claire at parisgrouprealty.com. Take care and have a great day. Bye.